veteran White House correspondent Helen Thomas coming under heavy criticism for comments she made at the White House. Listen. Any comments on Israel? We're arresting everybody today. Any comments Tell them on Israel? Tell to get the hell out of Palestine. Ooh. <laughs> Any better comments? Tell us one. Remember, these people are occupied, and it's their land, not German, it's not Poland. So where should they go? What should they do? They go home. Where's the home? Poland. So the Jews, Germany. You think Jews go back to Poland and Germany? And, and America and everywhere else. Well, our next guest thinks that Helen Thomas should be fired for those comments. Former White House Press Secretary Ari Fleischer, good to see you this morning. Good morning. All right, so, so you just say, look, this is cut and dry. It's black and white. She should be gone. It is. This goes beyond all boundaries. This is not your, your usual ideological difference that everybody has a free speech right to. And, and I, I look at this as an employee-employer matter. Who would want an employee who espouses but is tantamount to religious cleansing right. to work for them? Sure. And so Hearst should do something, at least what, a suspension? My view is her employer should let her go. It's time for Helen Thomas to be let go. Well, she's this. no longer a correspondent. She's like, like a commentator anyway. Yeah, Helen is a columnist, and she's entitled, of course, like any columnist, to her opinions. But when you advocate that people need to be separated on the basis of their religion, and that there's a region of the world in which nobody from a certain religion, no Jew, should live, as she calls it, in Palestine, right. this is a reprehensible problem. Mm -hmm. This is hatred. This is bigotry. This is prejudice. Who wants want somebody like that working for them, is and my point. You always knew when you stood behind the podium as, as White House Press Secretary that, that Helen Thomas was pro-Palestinian. Absolutely. But you never thought that it crossed over the line into these feelings of being yeah. anti-Jewish. Yeah. I, I think you have to allow people their thoughts. And, and in her case, her thoughts were that the Palestinians had issues with the Israelis, and she took the side of the Palestinians. She took the side of Yasser Arafat. That's fine. But once you cross the line and go beyond that and you advocate separation by religion, which is what she has called for, right. all Jews go home. Get the hell out of Palestine, as she says. This is not a minor issue. No. This is a real moral matter for Hearst to face. Well, here's her apology. She says, quote, I deeply regret my comments I made last week regarding the Israelis and the Palestinians. They do not reflect my heartfelt belief that peace will come to the Middle East only when all parties recognize the need for mutual respect and tolerance. May that day come soon. What should the White House say? Well, this is hard for the government because the it government, is. by the First Amendment, cannot restrict people's free speech. So I don't view this as a government issue. I view it as a private What about issue. the White House press uh, correspondents? Well, that's a different group. The White House Correspondents Association has their own call to make about the seating arrangement in the room and whether she is... She's in the front row. She's got the seat. numero uno chair. And she is the only columnist to have a seat at the White House, too, which is a slightly different issue. But again, I, I just think through debates like this and through employers having to make decisions, society sets the bounds for what should and should not be right. acceptable speech. What she said is not acceptable. A signal needs to be sent. She should be let go at a minimum of two-week suspension. But if I were her employer, I'd let her go. It's the right thing to do. We'll see what Hearst does later on this week. Ari Fleischer, always great to speak to you. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up on the show with Healthcare Wall Street Reform.